Besides vacuuming out the chaff between roasts, you need to give your Bullet R1 a deeper clean in order to keep it functioning properly. This includes the chaff basket, impeller fan and housing, transfer tube, and infrared sensor. How frequently depends on how often you roast, but as a general rule, if it's difficult to see through the mesh of your chaff basket, it's probably due for a deeper clean. I'm using a Kafisa solution for this demo, but other mild detergents such as Simple Green will do the trick. I also use a bottle brush and towel, but never a wire brush or anything that will potentially score the metal. First, pull off the chaff collector in order to remove the mesh chaff basket inside. You can see how much buildup has collected on this one after only a few roasts. I place them in a bowl for now and will soak and cleaner while I prep the rest of the machine. Next, remove the impeller fan by loosening the set screw that holds the fan onto the fan shaft using an Allen key. It can be tricky to get a handle on it, and I recommend holding the fan in place with your other hand. If the fan is stuck to the shaft, use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry it free. I'll add this to my bowl with the chaff collector and spray everything down with the cleaning solution and let it soak. I also spray the impeller fan housing and allow the cleaner to break down any oily residue while I clean the rest of the roaster. Now it's time to remove the faceplate. Swivel the chaff collector underneath the front of the roaster for support and remove the bean trier, metal door handle, and light. There are five screws holding the faceplate that need to be removed. Hold the faceplate in place while you remove the final screw so it doesn't fall. Rest the faceplate on the chaff collector to keep it stable while cleaning the roaster. To clean the inside of the faceplate, I spray a towel to wipe on cleaner rather than spraying directly. Apply cleaner liberally and let it soak for a few minutes. Take your bottle brush and briskly scour the inside of the top transfer tube and beam chute. The residue on the faceplate should be ready to wipe away after a few minutes. Check the bearing for excessive buildup as well and clean with alcohol and a Q-tip or toothbrush to make sure it spins freely. The infrared sensor can be found inside the rubber housing. Carefully wipe it with a clean Q-tip and alcohol. Shine a flashlight inside to make sure it's completely clean. Now you can remount the faceplate on the drum. Secure the five screws and reinstall the weighted door handle, bean trier, light, and rubber bean chute cover. Now return to the fan housing and the cleaner soaked grime should easily wipe away. Give the bullet a final vacuum before reassembling the back of the roaster. After scrubbing the impeller fan and chaff basket with a toothbrush, they look like new. Reinstall the fan and tighten the grub screw. Make sure to give it a spin to see if there is any rubbing. If it is rubbing, loosen the set screw and back away from the housing until it spins freely. Go ahead and reinstall your chaff basket, making sure the lip on the rubber ring is flush all the way around, forming a tight seal. Now put the rear panel back on the bullet and you're ready to start roasting again. Thanks for watching.